everybody. It is the draft. What up, everybody? It is the Cruel Fan Sports Hour draft edition. Josh Filer, Whitney Dowds, Ryan Collins with you. It's been a little, took a little break. We needed to, uh, you know, reset, regroup here. And we're back. You know, why better, better, what a good time is any come back of the NFL draft where the Eagles are going to trade in all their picks to either get <laughs> Trevor Lawrence or Aaron Rodgers, one of the two. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. It's all uphill from here. Yeah. yeah, we're only moments away from the draft starting. Um, I think there's about a minute left, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if that actually like starts the countdown <laughs> clock. I think, I think there's probably like a little bit of waiting period uh, in between there. Um, but a lot of excitement today uh, with news of Aaron Rodgers, obviously asking or allegedly, I will say, asking members of the um, Packers organization about um, being traded, saying that he wanted to be traded. San Francisco had offered a deal to the Packers, basically giving everything to... <laughs> yeah, to take to, everything. Yeah, to, to get Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. And Rodgers basically came out today and said, yeah, I would have been okay with that. I would have liked going to San Francisco. Obviously, some um, animosity there. Uh, Rodgers is waiting for a new contract, and I kind of suspect that some of this news today is based on that that he uh is frustrated with the negotiations and maybe wants a little bit more money and maybe this will get him a couple more million dollars who knows um but it should be interesting to see what happens with san francisco uh with their pick i believe they have pick three tonight um so to see what happens with them because uh you know, if they if they pick a quarterback, um, obviously, like the the Jimmy Garoppolo situation comes into question as well there. Um, and if they got Aaron Rodgers, I don't know. You know, uh, I guess they were going to give back Jimmy Garoppolo, but uh, to the Packers. But you know, pa- uh, Patriots have been in <laughs> conversations uh, about Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, other teams have had some interest. I, for one, think that Cam Newton is better choice for them not jimmy uh, garoppolo but um just personally i think there's more options now for cam to throw throw to he knows the system better this year um so we'll see what happens what do you think what yeah i think um if you're just comparing garoppolo and newton um a healthy cam newton um and i'm prefacing my next point with that a healthy cam newton i think brings more to the table um, obviously, his athleticism and, and obviously brute strength as well. Um, with his what sixty something career rushing touchdowns, yeah, uh, says it all. Really, um, the question is, can he stay healthy? Obviously, I obviously I, I think I can speak for you as well when I say this. Um, we hope that he does <laughs> uh, yeah. because we've seen what he can do when he's healthy. Um, he's clearly someone who's loved in that locker room um, by all of his teammates. Um, and um, I think a second year in the system will do him a lot of good. Um, you know, he's someone who's clearly willing to learn, clearly wants to get better, um, and is in a great system to do that. Um, at the same time, it would be intriguing to see if uh, Aaron Rodgers comes to New England, um, because talk about replacing one legend with another. Yeah, There's no um, fucking way that happened. <laughs> I think I think there's a there's a uh, it, it is a better chance that it, it could happen, but no than what way. you're making it out to be. But the, the the problem I see more is I can't imagine Green Bay letting him go. Like I just can't see Green Bay letting him go anywhere. <laughs> so that's like more the the, the bigger but thing then, to me. But then why do they draft that guy so high? Then why do they draft Love so high? Yeah, but like, maybe just he's a, just not adding up to what what yeah. they, you know, want him to be or whatever. Or what if the Packers they, like? What if the Packers come up and like draft like Justin Fields or something crazy? Well, that was <laughs> I was uh, you know they, talking like, to Whitney, up. that I was talking to Whitney about before is that there maybe there was some rumors about uh, you know the Packers <laughs> doing that and Aaron Rodgers was just like no way that's not going to happen again trade me. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be made fun of again, basically, you know, by drafting a quarterback high. Um, oh God, interesting, uh, Teddy Bridgewater being traded to the Broncos uh, yes, yesterday. Um, so the, the thing that comes into question a little bit is the Broncos have the seventh pick, I believe. 
Um, so is a team able to go from, or maybe they have the ninth pick. I forget exactly. Uh, I have to look, but um, is a team able to go from, no, the seventh pick I was right. Uh, uh, from like a 17, 18, 19 pick and trade up to a seventh pick and then maybe get like a guy like Justin Fields. There might be some opportunity there. Although I don't think that Teddy Bridgewater is really the guy that's going to turn around the franchise there in Denver, but He's um, good, man. I don't know hates on Teddy, yo. Yeah, you think he's good? He's a first. I mean, he he's 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 better than like the way he's been getting treated. I think just getting slipped around all over the league. You know. Yeah. I, mean, I guess he came to the league and he got hurt and he kind of he kind of screwed himself to from the gate. But I don't know. He's, he wears two gloves, man. That's got that's got to count for something. <laughs> it's got to do something. Yeah. I will. I will say this. I mean, the injury obviously definitely changed the way his career was going to go. Um, of course. But he of course. was a decent backup in New Orleans when he played for our uh, backup Drew Brees when he got hurt. Um, yeah. You know, he, I I don't I think they only lost like one or two games that whole stretch. Denver, obviously, the offense is not the same or anywhere near the same. Um, but their defense is pretty good, too. So maybe they just need someone who's a, uh, who can just manage the game. I don't like using that term, but, like, managing the game. And not, yeah, exactly. Oh, and just <laughs> not turn the ball over. Um, so, you know, I don't know. We'll see yeah, how that goes. works out. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely better than getting schlepped around. Agree with Josh. Uh, so there you That's go. You got, a, He's... you got a fan in your corner. Thanks. I, I will I mean, say Patrick yeah. Mahomes is going to still rule that division. So even if Denver has that, it's uh, true that the Chiefs are too good offensively. Which, which by the way, Andy Reid had traded up to get Patrick Mahomes. So uh, just like, 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 like yeah. just talk about how um, you know the the. the the class of quarterbacks this year, obviously, over like other years and even like next year, that's the that's the thing for teams like you know, the Patriots in particular. This might be, be the only opportunity. I mean, there are guys that kind of break out anyway in their senior year or right before their draft year or whatever. So that could change. But the thing about it is it may not. <laughs> so if the Patriots don't make a move this year and trade up, I mean, regardless, I think we can all agree the Patriots aren't going to start a rookie QB in 2021. They're not going to. St- they're going to start Cam if if they don't trade for Jimmy Garoppolo or Aaron Rodgers or another quarterback um, that's available. But um, I think the Aaron Rodgers thing is very unlikely, but um, it would be awesome. Imagine Aaron Rodgers finally with like. Great talented receivers. Well, not finally, but getting what he wants, really. You know, he's had talent over the years. The last year, he didn't really have much, but um, many weapons. But now the Patriots are stockpiling weapons. And then if they get um, Aaron Rodgers, that would be uh, pretty crazy. Uh, Although, I I can't believe I'm going to say this, but Tom Brady went to mad Super Bowls with nobody. So, you know, I I think Uh, Rodgers should be able, if he's as good as he, you know, He's as good as everyone says it, you know what I mean? Like, if he's, like, he should be able to be Rumpelstiltskin and, you know, spin that hay into gold, you know, a little bit more. And I can't believe I'm, I threw up in my mouth a little bit defending no, Brady it's a little bit. for you to stomach now that, you know, he's not a Patriot, right? Like, last year you would, makes it easy. Yeah, it makes you would it easy. never be saying this, but, no. you know, like. He's a, he's a bum. He's a bum. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think you're underestimating the fact that they had Edelman, they had. Um, let's see, Evan Bola, Gronk, Brandon Cooks, even though that was only for one year. Uh, Randy Moss. Um, Remember that guy? Yeah, Martellus, Martellus Bennett. Well, think about that. Well, okay, yeah, okay. He, he may not have had that like, much production before that, but Martellus Bennett was great the one and a half years he was there. Yeah. yeah West you, okay. You also, also have like Troy Brown and. Deion Branch. Trash dudes. Deion Branch. Who the hell are those guys? <laughs> they had Tyre. very good years. I, think I, really was, I don't know. And really, we know. didn't win a Super Bowl with Randy Moss. Just for uh, just keep that in mind. Should have. A lot of touchdowns thrown to him, though. All yeah. right, fine. You know what? You're, you're, you're right. Brady's trash. You're right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. No, you're, right. You're, right. You're, right. You're, right. you're right. You're arguing against my point that I'm like endorsing Brady. I'm, what the fuck going on? I know. On? I don't I was, know what. <laughs> I was simply just pointing out that it takes more than just one person to win a, 
That's super and cool. I'm just simply <laughs> pointing out that the only reason why you're endorsing him is because he's no longer a Patriot. If he was still on the Patriots, uh, you know, this, <laughs> this thing would be going on forever. All right, so um, the Eagles, what pick do they have? They have the 12th pick? Yeah. Um, 12. But they, they, they have like 11 picks yeah, overall. Right? They have picks. the most in the draft. Yeah, 12, yeah, so what are you, what are you from expecting six. from – or what, what would you like to see from – your team, you don't have to talk about individual players, but uh, I mean, what positions wise would you like to see? I'd love to see defense. I'd love to see um, offensive line because their whole offensive line is like completely, it's either old or they just got rid of everybody. So I'd like to see that. Um, there's a there's a linebacker out of Penn State. I don't know what his name is, but that'd be cool. I'd like to pick, see, pick him up, you know, but, number, but the number 12 pick, I don't know. They're probably gonna go wide, wide receiver or something. Probably. Some people have uh, J.C. Horn, South Carolina, uh, back um, pro- projected at the pick twelve, um, which would be, uh, I guess, good. Uh, they need, you know, cornerbacks. The uh, Eagles definitely need um, that protection. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, they need everything. I mean, they need a lot of things. You know, they need a rebuilding. Yeah, they had. Definitely yeah. rebuilding a little bit, a little bit. Well, I was going to say wide receiver and offensive line because how many offensive line injuries has your team had over the last three years? I mean, it just it, – it's, oh, I know. Well, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they played a lot of musical chairs. Looks like the Chiefs did. How about the Chiefs getting Zeus Jr.? How about that? Did you mm-hmm. see that? Orlando Brown. Yeah, Orlando oh, Brown. Nikes. Yeah. Yeah, which is just a great. It seems like the Ravens might be in a little bit of a fire sale mode uh, this year, and just which is sad for like a talent like Lamar Jackson, just like not have the cast around him to be able to be. You know, I think his whole goal, which he's been saying forever, is bring a Super Bowl to the city of Baltimore, and I don't think that this year they're even putting him in a position to do that. The Chiefs, obviously, glaring issues in the Super Bowl. So they go out and they get this guy. They get um uh Tooney from the Patriots too. So Tooney is a yeah, center yeah. for the LA too. Yeah. So obviously they uh I think it was just brutal for everybody to watch that happening during the Super Bowl that they uh were like, well, we're going to strengthen that um position. And so looks like Roger Goodell is up on stage. Um, about Bernie Kosar looking like a million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised uh, not a lot of – well, I didn't have the volume on, but were uh, the fans booing Roger Goodell? I mean, all. I hope so. I hope they're booing. Yeah. But <laughs> just, at this point, in this point, it's just like he's like all about it. He's like embraced it and they're like – Yeah, like, just who cares if everyone hates me? If they, cheer, if they cheered for him, that would be more of a, a more of a middle finger, I would think, at this point, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was so looking cheer. at some like articles and it was like – uh, Roger Goodell, fully vaccinate, vaccinated. He hugs uh, somebody or you know, like whatever the whole circle. I'm like, all right, come on. Like, just, all right. All right. Just whatever. <laughs> just, yeah. Are we going to down every hug we see tonight? Like yeah. now he's got the chair going out, the yeah. chair that he used last year. It's funny that they – it's interesting they have like a full capacity crowd at that event. Like, yeah, it, it I mean, doesn't it's, even it's, look like it's twenty five percent. I mean, I, again, I don't want to turn this you know political thing, but it's just it's amazing that they have a fully capacity crowd. The the yeah, the, I mean, different part. You know, this is in uh, Ohio, right? So right. different. Uh, you know, different feel for the virus stuff out there. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, kind of uh, interesting year for a draft to take place. Anyway due to the fact that, you know, the combine itself, I think they only really looked at like the top 40 players or something like that. Like there wasn't like that much depth in even having uh, um, that level of a combine. Uh, So how do, how do teams like look at things like injuries? Obviously a lot can happen from last season in the college football to draft day and, you know, everything. So kind of interesting to see. Uh, Okay. So not sure who this is, but. Taking Why, the chair. Some, some fan or something? <laughs> yeah. I, she out to uh, announce the... Oh, they're uh, on the yeah. clock. Ten there minutes left until they announce the pick. Okay. Or, um, at least ten minutes. So is it, the did you see any doubt who they're picking right now, guys? I mean, what if they went... 
If they traded away the Packers. What if they traded down? <laughs> yeah. That what would be do. a bold first move for Urban Meyer. It would be amazing. Yeah. be amazing. I mean, that, that team has had so much dysfunction since they went to the AFC Championship game and got tra- uh, knocked out by Brady. Yeah. Um, that I don't think they can do that. They can't afford to. No, <laughs> they no, they have no. They, they they can't do anything but draft Lawrence right now. Like yeah. this is like they'll never be forget forgiven for it. And the only thing that's kind of interesting is could this be like an Eli Manning situation where Trevor Lawrence doesn't want to play for the Jags and he ends <laughs> yeah, up getting right. traded later because I think there was some you know talk about that he really didn't want to play for them. And uh, it, it, the thing that like you know, worries me about like a player like this going to the Jags is, is it going to be another situation where this kind of high level talent just gets lost in an organization that can't like compete, you know, that can't be highly competitive. And yeah, they, they did some trading in the off season and they got like a, you know, a couple wide receivers and things like that. But uh, did they do enough to really support this level of the talent? Well, if, if, all goes to plan. It sounds like Timmy Tebow is coming to Jacksonville as a tight end. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Did you see that? Did yeah, that, that news today that Tim Tebow uh, trying working out? Or, or working out. I don't know if it was a, like a complete tryout, but yeah, like, right. He's working out. He's working. He, out. he right. wants right. to. He, he wants, wants to, to come, come back. back. Which originally he probably should have just done that instead of playing baseball. No, like, he should have just done that from the get and stopped. Yeah. Playing, you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, now that, now that he has urban Myers as the coach there, you know, I believe they have, didn't he play under urban Myers? Am I just imagining that? No. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. That maybe that's sense. why. Yeah. Yeah. Makes, yeah maybe. You I know, guess. Maybe that's a very that could good be point. Something. Didn't even think yeah. of that. Didn't even think of that. So we'll see. I don't know. That would be hilarious if uh, he ended up down there. I mean, then they can do some crazy combinations, but Lauren, I mean, I guess you gotta you gotta draft more. But there's, yeah, they were like in the AC Championship game like two years ago, and now all of a sudden they're just like, they just completely fell off. And yeah, maybe they they're one piece away. I mean, they're, they're probably not. But one draft that is definitely worth going back and looking at is when Eli Manning and Ben Roethlisberger and all those guys were being drafted. Oh yeah. Is- it is hilarious. Like just watching. Like, so Eli, what are you gonna do? And he's like, oh, I don't know. We'll see when we get up there. And then, like, he gets traded. To and he was guy. like smiling. He was like, yeah, barely smiling. He was like, this is some bull. It's ridiculous. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I. I mean, I think he knows that's where they're go- where he's going. Oh yes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that rookie deals are are so much more you know less restrictive now, so he can be out of there. And, Four years, you know, yeah. If you really want it to be, so. But I mean, he's gonna get. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm I'm interested to see if he even plays well. I'm interested to see about Zach Wilson. I don't know. Maybe he looks like because he looks like he's 12 years old. Like I don't see him. <laughs> yeah, he really does. I don't it's see him so or young Mac looking Jones doing any. I don't see him or Mac Jones doing anything. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Is that his um, name, Mac Jones? That the guy? Yeah, Mac Jones. Yeah. Projected to maybe go third to Francisco. I don't uh, Zach, see him. Zach Wilson going to the Jets. Yeah. Um, I don't see him doing anything. I don't see either of those guys doing anything in the NFL. Yeah, I actually I why. really do believe, like, besides <laughs> Lawrence, like, Justin Fields might be the best, like, other quarterback. Um, besides, you know, besides uh, Lawrence going first. Uh, and and like if the Patriots were able to trade up and get him, or if he fell far enough, I doubt that he's going to far f- fall far enough for the Patriots to get him. But that would be you know under Cam Newton, that would be a style of player that you know is complementary to uh, a Cam Newton style of play. So he'll learn a lot from them. I could see that happening, but uh, you know I'm a little surprised that. You haven't heard of the Patriots doing anything yet, um, trading up or anything like that. Um, maybe they don't do that, just, though. Yeah, they don't really. But they like, do that. I, I think, I think the difference might be this year <laughs> versus other years is that they uh, that Belichick is more reined in or like getting more, giving out more responsibility as far as like the draft goes uh, to guys. Because I've heard like rumors of in past years they'll draft guys and like. Like, 
you know, personnel or, you know, other people working and the Patriots will like come out of the room and just be shaking his head. Like, why are, why are we doing that? <laughs> like, it doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Like, you know, he has had some success. Like I think, you know, drafting Gronk, like, you know, like there are like, and obviously players like Tom Brady have worked out, but um, that's kind of once in a million shot. Uh-oh. Yeah. I mean, this is like kind of what's crazy to me too. Like, why are we spending 10 minutes on this? Like, like, I think he's like he's he knows he's going there, right? Like, like yeah, I don't know. I don't know it's just good. it's just still seems kind of crazy that they uh, wouldn't have drafted him by now. But I I think part of it too is for um, you know the TV analysts to have time to, to yeah, I'm sure that plays somewhat a part in it. But if you're first pick, you would just think like, all right, like they just want to be dramatic, I guess. You know, Jacksonville like. Had a good defense that used to give the Patriots a lot of a lot of trouble, um, and they used to be uh, quite competitive against them. But uh, that's not no longer the case, at least in the last like five ten, ten years. Yeah, no, no, um, no, no, it hasn't been. So, uh, can they return to a team that's you know of a higher caliber playoff team? I'm not sure, but. Um, I was going to say, I remember the days, uh, I think it was like the early 2000s when uh, we played them, I think, in the playoffs in 05 and 07, and they, you know, kept a, they kept the score close. Yeah. Um, but I think there was one game where Brady threw one incomplete pass the entire yeah. night. Um, and then the obviously 2017 as well. Um, that was, I mean, they were 10 minutes, I think, away from going to the Super Bowl. Right, yeah. And probably would have given the Eagles a lot more trouble. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> the Eagles are, Eagles are going to be doling out trouble this year. That's all I'm going to say. They're going to be doling it out. With one offensive line. Maurice Jones-Drew, was he drafted by the Jaguars? I can't. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah I, I couldn't remember specifically because I knew he played for them, but I wasn't sure if he, they actually drafted him or not. Yeah, I think he was their draft pick. Brunel wasn't though. I know that. Yeah. He was like he's like their him and uh, what was their other quarterback's name? What was his name? It doesn't matter. He had know. Crohn's disease. What was his name? Gerard, that's it, David Gerard. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, guy. yeah. Oh, uh, I just hope the Eagles don't do something stupid. That's all <laughs> I don't think. I don't, I don't mean, I don't think the Patriots they they draft pretty well usually. You know what I mean? I mean, most of the time, but I mean, except for Aaron Hernandez, Ugh. Missed well, on that one. <laughs> he was still good. Yeah, he was still. <laughs> <laughs> Was he was still good? They just thought that they could like change who he was, and he, you know people had warned them that you weren't going to be able to change this guy. And you know if you watch that whole documentary, I think what is the craziest thing? Oh, pick is in. Uh, what if it's like Justin Fields? And the other <laughs> <laughs> they have traded the pick to it's the amazing. Eagles. Duval County would go crazy. <laughs> or they just draft somebody else. They draft like a Jamari Chase or something. Ten seconds. Oh, boy. They have picked him. Oh. Oh, it's official? Uh, according to Adam Schefter. <laughs> he doesn't. What does he know? <laughs> well, he's he on usually get, He usually gets it right <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, talking about play <laughs> I'm not digging this font that they're using for the all the signs and everything. I'm not digging it. I yeah. Like it. I don't like it. How about all this swag that these teams, like these little pods of each team has? I think like oh, the yeah. NFL just like gave them these outfits and we're like, here you go. It looks too. They have these little like rooms for the top picks. That they were they're, they're like supposed to hang no, out. I'm in. sorry, I meant the fans, like the fans oh, for each team. Oh, you know, yeah. those, little, those little like you know those little like stables they have. What <laughs> if they like gave like if the NFL's like here take this because that that one Seattle guy looks like way too involved. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Okay, here's here's a lady. Oh, she, she gets the she gets to. Uh, I wonder if she was like a, a uh, what's it called a. Uh, uh, like frontline worker or something, and that's I'm kind of sure thing. something like that. Yeah, I 
Oh, there they didn't. Is. They haven't even announced it yet. No, they <laughs> there, did. There it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, my God. Boo. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Well, I was I like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I thought he he had this face like this. And I'm like, uh, "Did he not want to go to Jacksonville?" Yeah, he's like, uh, and then his face lit up once he. I think it was a delayed reaction. Yeah, I think it was just a <laughs> delay on the. Uh, it was a technical delay. I don't think it was. Uh, all right. Oh wait, the cameras are here. Shit. Let me uh quick react like we're doing something. <laughs> uh, the Jets pick will be up in seven minutes. What a world, no. huh? I hope it's before that. Jesus. What a I world really... to be in uh, first, picked first in the NFL draft. Pretty crazy. Yeah, man. And he, then, look, he looks like a cool customer. I'll say that. <laughs> What'd you say? I said he looks like a cool customer. <laughs> Greg like Ergen, that's just the way he looks. <laughs> I think that was about how I'm looking like confused. Oh, oh. Look, look at the uh, news. I don't know if you're on ESPN right now, but look at the uh, oh, yeah. headline they have up there about trading Sam Darnold. Well, good for Darnold, man. He need to get out of there. Oh, yeah, definitely good for him. He's going to murder him and Wentz are both going to murder in their new house, in their new places. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's throw some screens to McCaffrey. You know, open yeah. up, <laughs> open up the long. I think they uh, actually. I think in other news, um, the Panthers had signed the uh, deal with DJ Moore today, um, extending his contract. So. Is that his mom? I think so, yeah. Holy Wait, he's actually at the draft? Not yeah. uh, unlike Lawrence? Wow. Interesting. Definitely interesting uh, takes or approaches to, you know, how... Uh, I, mean, I tell you, pandemic or not, if I'm getting drafted by the NFL, I'm going to the draft. Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going. Like, if I'm getting drafted, like, I'm going. You know, I make sure I'm vaccinated or whatever. But I'm going. There's no yeah. way I'm missing that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna spit. I'm just like lick people's faces. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I'm an NFL man. Who cares? Yep. Is he the first ever Trevor drafted number one? I wonder. That's a good question. <laughs> I wonder. Sure. Not sure about that. I don't know about the Zach Wilson guy. He's only six two. He's little. I mean, I'm six two, but you know, whatever. He's still little. Could have been me. Could have made the NFL. <laughs> yep, could have made it. All right, we're looking at these highlights here. All right, you could throw the ball. He just yeah. looks so like. He's got a good arm. He looks so young. Yeah. He does have a good arm. Sheesh. The question is, is he going to be able to do all of that with the Jets? Uh, I mean, they, they do have a new coaching staff and stuff, so I right. guess I need to see. I need to have it proved that they can consistently win. Um, obviously, the, the guy who's the defensive coordinator or was the defensive coordinator for the uh, Niners clearly has uh, a good track record, but it's just the can, you know, that coach – can that come together with all the talent or with all the players they have? I will see. There's just good numbers here. I will say it will be better than anything Adam Gase said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> Something that's kind of interesting too is that um, the ages of the, the quarterbacks. So, Mac Jones is 22. He'll be 23 in September. Um, if you compare him to like Justin Fields is 22. Um, and this guy, uh, Wilson is uh, 20, I believe. He's 20? Yeah, I think he, he's either 20 or 21. Holy shnikes. <laughs> yeah, he's 21. Oh my God. So he was born in 2000? No. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, it's so pretty crazy. Like, uh, just. From that side of it, like, um, you know, not only being a 21-year-old and being in the NFL, but, you know, is there something to players' ages at that point? You know that for the most part, for like a rookie, they might not. I mean, Trevor Lawrence is going to start. Zach Wilson probably start too. Um, but are there players later on that are not going to start? And then if they're 24, by the time they start, you're getting like older already um, into your NFL career. Uh, talent, I guess, can displace that anyway. But 
<laughs> yeah, if you also been getting beat up and stuff, you have time to. Yeah. You know, I mean, he but, just looks young. Yeah, I guess it's not his fault. But yeah, you just have a. I guess he's got a good arm, but I don't know, man. It's different. Just run around in shorts and stuff. I don't know. I just. I mean, he, he reminds me, maybe just because he went to BYU, he's like a, a Jim McMahon type, you know, just like that. He's kind of he's kind of like, I don't think he's like as like reckless as Jim McMahon was, but he's kind of a kind of a pretty <laughs> boy, right? And he's like kind of a smart ass, which yeah. Jim McMahon kind of was. But I think it's more of just like the BYU thing that probably can, draws the comparison for me. But He definitely can throw. Yeah. There's your boy, Jimmy G, coming back. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. I don't know about him coming back, but All right, the picks in. Oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> Pick is in. Wonder what Atlanta's gonna do. Do you think they're uh, gonna get rid of uh, Matt Ryan? Oh my god, maybe, well, I don't think they'll trade him, but um... they need help on defense badly. <laughs> yeah, they need help on defense, but they're not gonna pick anybody on defense now. Hmm. Yeah, not this high. Like maybe like down the you know, down in the draft. But a lot of people have Kyle Pitts going to them out of the tight end. Oh, going to Atlanta? Yeah, going to Atlanta. Oh my God. Yeah, actually I I wouldn't be that mad at that. They really haven't found a tight end to replace on Austin Hooper in a while, so they should just clean house. <laughs> Yeah. Clean house, get rid of everybody. Send Trade Julio Jones to the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, oh no. Trade him to uh to the Eags. <laughs> yeah, trade him no. To the Eags. <laughs> trade everyone to the Eags. Who's that guy? What is this? This has to be either frontline workers or um I, I want I'm curious to see what the story behind each person that calls them up is. Is it Wilson? It's got to be. Yeah, it is. Yep. My God. Zach Dar or uh, what's his name? Sam Darnold's like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good luck. He's like, Schmuck. good luck. <laughs> He's probably, oh, 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 probably like Sam Darnold has very much a baby face too, so they like yeah, know, like relatively look. Uh, similar. He's probably so pissed. He's like, fuck, man. It's the Jets, man. Fuck. Why? <laughs> my question is, why did the first team have 10 minutes? Or why did the uh, Jaguars have 10 minutes? Everybody else has like seven and a half. Well, I think as soon as the pick's in, the, the clock starts. Yeah, you know? see, so like San Francisco's already on the clock. And although yeah. all this is going on, it like really doesn't, you know, it still wastes the next team's time. I mean, act like they don't know. Like, you know, I'm sure, like, these first, like, this first round is just like, okay, if he goes, here's this. Hey, right? he's interacting with the fans. That's good. Look at Goodell. Look at Goodell. <laughs> All right, would it be Raj? My guy, Raj. <laughs> Zach Wilson. Wow. Could have, oh, well. He looks like, um, actually, he looks like my, my, a friend of our, a friend of the families of growing up. My mom's my mom had a friend, and her her son, who was my brother's friend, who everybody knows, <laughs> Brian Sisney. Look him up. S starring in <laughs> Home Alone <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good shout out. Oh man! All right. Well, you know what? Um, the the new offensive coordinator for the Jets is uh, Mike LaFleur, which of course has a connection to. Green Bay. So, you know, I, like, I, I hate to keep bringing this point up, but, or actually, no, I don't. Adam, anything better than Adam Gase? <laughs> oh, God, Adam Gase. Oh, my God. Uh, but seriously, I mean, the LaFleur tree, you know, um, clearly they have something that, uh, and it's actually not even that, it's just the uh, McVay tree as well. Um, you know, they clearly take certain concepts from each other and apply it to their own system. So we'll see how that works out. I think anybody going to 
uh, the Jets thinks that they're going to turn this <laughs> system around, and then it never happens. And then they get there, and they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> they, still have, they still have posters up of Joe Namath. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Wilson's talking at the moment, I think. I'm... Let's see. What are we going to do here? I don't even really recognize that logo. What logo? Is that their new logo? No, nah, I guess it's, those are the draft Just, hats. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, it The logo's on the top there. <laughs> it's on the top of the New York, if you can see yeah. it. Yeah, I know they changed their eyes. uniforms last year. Um, or not last yeah, I year, but like the year before. Yeah. I like the old school Kelly Green. I still, I still can't uh, stop laughing at the fact that they put their, like, green uniforms on, I think, for the, the Monday night game a couple years ago. And proceeded to get blown out thirty-three nothing by the Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, old ghost game. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. All right. So, who are the Niners? What are the Niners doing? What do you What do you think? They taking a quarterback? Well, unless there's more drama regarding this Aaron Rodgers situation that could totally like blow up the draft right now, I doubt that that's going to happen. But or what if you do like a draft and trade thing? What if like Green Bay's like, all right, you need to take. Uh, that tr uh, Trey Lance guy, and then uh, and then we'll trade you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that like they could just get Mac Jones right now and trade him. Yeah, you, you know, pick up Mac Jones, and then yeah. uh, we'll take him off your hands. Yeah, so that's pretty much the suspected pick is Matt Jones right now. Um, really? Oh God! Yep. Yeah. And I think this so is much more the than Dolphins quarterback. Pick. <laughs> Although, as you get, you know, further into the draft, you notice less highlights of who they think might be drafted, right? Yeah, because <laughs> so, they're like, well... We uh, don't know. <laughs> they, like, know that these two guys are going to go one and two, but how can we be sure who's going to go third or fourth? Or... We're just going to have to just play, hit play on the package after we get the draft pick. Oh, they got they pick somebody because they're clapping. <laughs> oh boy! Wait, the crowd is clapping or the the, no, the draft clapping? room? Oh, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> They're like, we finally got Aaron Rodgers. We got it. <laughs> fourteen years too late, but we got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the thing they once had the chance to get Tom Brady too. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, the no, you know what? Up. I don't think it would have been. His career would have been the same because their um, organization was a mess back then. Yeah, well, well, it was start, or it was starting to become a mess. They still had a couple of good years, but and, you know, a few years later, it started falling apart. Well, now with TB12, there would have been all right. Uh, he grew up right there. He was like, you know, like yeah, he California guy. Mac Jones. There's no other team besides Tampa Bay that would have like surrounded them with that many quality players and are con continuing really this year to do the same. They just signed Antonio Brown back to a one-year deal. Um, they got all, all the, basically everybody they were losing, they were Everybody's able to Everybody's coming sign. back. Yeah. Everybody's coming back. It's like, hey, let's do it again. It's hilarious. Oh, the Although, thing I, think that, I think this year will be a little bit tougher for them to do that. But Who yeah. the Bucks? Yeah. All I have yeah, to say maybe. is look at what happened to Kansas City last year. Look at what happened to the Patriots in 2017. Yeah, it was, a perfect, it was a perfect storyline for it to happen, for the Bucks to win, and it happened. But a lot of things had to fall exactly perfect in place. They had to beat the Saints, Green Bay. Like, it, there was just a lot. And then ultimately beating Kansas City is, like, the biggest feat beside, you know, and if they, if the Kansas City probably has the, the offensive line fix, you know, if that injury doesn't happen, the game before, we might be talking about a different result to that game. Who knows? But ultimately, it was the defense that played out of their minds for Tampa Bay. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Question is, is it sustainable? Right. Because there is a, you know, there is what's that called? A Super Bowl hangover. Not to mention all the injuries, um, and teams get better. 
Yeah. And Tom Brady, you know, as healthy as he's been, he's 43. <laughs> you know, it's as much as he may think he can play like five or ten more years or however many <laughs> more years he thinks he's going to play, you just don't know that. Isn't Aaron Rodgers like 38? Yep. He's 37. Hey man. Yeah. This won't be 38. Oh, here we go. No, there's nothing wrong if you're in the if you're not in the NFL, but you're starting <laughs> to get up there. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, I think Don't they went Mac Jones. I think they went rogue. Trey wow, Lance. they did take Lance. What yeah. did I say? I was gonna what say, did I, say? I think yes. they went pretty low on rogue on this. And now they're gonna they're gonna trade him to Green Bay. Watch, boom, because he's used <laughs> to playing in cold weather, because he's from North Dakota. And then, or they're gonna send Garoppolo to <laughs> to Green Bay. Oh yeah, they could do that too. Wow, that's or surprising. Maybe not, not wow. Green Bay, but I don't know. That's the you know that's the so from from projections that I was saying he was going like probably eighth, maybe ninth. Yeah. And he ends up That's going a long third. Way to go, yo. Well, Garoppolo's job is officially um, in the red. On <laughs> uh, notice, you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, there's, he... they don't draft somebody like this if they're not trying to um, potentially evaluate their quarterback position. Maybe not this year, but we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, he uh, he didn't play. What, he played like zero games last year. Lance did. And remember what happened in the Super Bowl a couple years ago, too. Um, you know, when they were asking him to do all of the to, – well, this might have been more of a coaching thing, but um, they, they ran – or I think throw the threw the ball in the two previous playoff games before the Super Bowl like ten times each. Yeah, and then had to throw the ball thirty one times in the uh, uh, Super Bowl, and it didn't well, work. He, he, well, he got super. Yeah, he got super exposed, right? For yeah. not knowing what to do, it was like, oh god. But at the same time, they didn't call a lot of running plays either in the fourth quarter. I think they had like four running plays. So I don't know. Maybe this is just to create some competition, too. Maybe. Oh, I'm sure it is, but... Um, yeah. I still think that'd be amazing they traded him to uh, Green Bay for Rodgers and, like, a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Erica saying, Bill, bring Jimmy you there. I'll give you a milli just like Cam. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> just rip, like, Ow, I just really right. don't think that Jimmy Garoppolo is a better option for the Patriots than Cam Newton. I just don't. No, I agree. I mean, uh, it's, it's a lateral move. I well, maybe, maybe passing was yeah, sure. maybe yeah, passing is a wash for sure. But when you when, Cam can still rush like to get this. But when you add everything in pass. together, yeah, and and you add everything together, like having the offense that they will have. And being able to, uh, you know, have the option to throw, but then also be able to just rush, and you got those big tight ends now to block for you. There's, you know, so many more opportunity for Cam. And Jimmy's hurt. He's been hurt. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't think that there's, uh, I don't think that we're gonna get the Jimmy Garoppolo back that we once had. That it's gonna, you know be a miraculous uh, time back in New England. I just I just don't see it happening. I don't see it being like the pick that they need uh, to make that team that much better. But I can see Garoppolo so, well, going to like the Bears or something stupid. Yeah. Could he be went true. to Eastern Illinois, you know, I can see him going there, maybe. I, I will know. say though they he kind of has a similar setup if he does come back to New England where they have you know, a very good offensive or an improved offensive line, um, a very dangerous defense. Um, the defense is going to be the thing for them. Yeah. And then, you know, a better wide receiving group than they had in San Francisco. Yeah. Wide receiving group. 
tight end. No, actually, I'll say even tight end as well because Kittle was very good. I'm not taking anything away from him, but it, they, that's the only really reliable tight end they had, pass catching wise. All right. So Atlanta is either going to take Pitts, huh? That's what the projected is, but you know, I think by by San Francisco picking Trey Lance, this might be a better situation for uh, Atlanta to take Mac Jones. Don't do it, dude. You know, don't do it, Jim Plunkett. Well, they need a QB, like eventually. Yeah, I know it's true. I guess you know, like regardless of you know. I don't know. I just think that they gotta they gotta solve that situation at some point. As as do the Saints, right? And they have uh, were in a lot of conversations, I guess, today trying to trade up into Sorry. a higher pick. That's all right. Uh, they were trying to get a higher pick today in the draft. Um, that obviously did not happen. They didn't uh, weren't able to break into the top ten. Oh, I just saw it, and oh, the pick is in. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Do, do, do. Come on, be a defensive player. <laughs> Come on, defense. Now, I will say they'll probably need a wide receiver, too. So I think wide receiver, tight end is probably – what they're going to pick now that I think about it more. <laughs> Somebody else according, to, uh, according to Adam Scheffner, 49ers did not tell their coaches or scouts their pick. They didn't know the team was selecting Trey Lance until the pick was announced. What? All right. <laughs> well, the reaction in the room didn't look like that. <laughs> Interesting. Well, maybe that's why the reaction was that way. I don't know. Maybe they were like, oh, we're doing that? Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, Insert and, all the memes now. <laughs> and, yeah. And did you see the, uh, you know, all the controversy, you know, about Jimmy Garoppolo and everything? And, uh, um, oh. No. oh. Here we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Come on, pick McNabb. Kyle Pitts. Wow. So they did go tight end. You're right. Yep. He's a that guy's a a unicorn, right? He's a beast. He's huge. Jesus. Well, all right. That's a little boring, I guess. I don't know. Well, this is shaping up to be more and more interesting with Mac Jones falling down in the draft far, farther and farther. Doesn't um, surprise me. Well, it doesn't surprise you, but uh, let's see who we got next. We got the Bengals, so you can almost guarantee that they're <laughs> going to pick somebody. Either they're going to uh, pick either a wide receiver or an offensive line guy <laughs> to uh, make you know to make sure that they uh, have somebody for. Um, borrow to throw to. Um, yeah, did you see, by the way, just yeah. like really quickly, sorry, did you see the comments by Shanahan this week about like basically like life or whatever, talking about the talking about Jimmy Garoppolo and saying like, I don't know if anybody will be alive like by the end of the week or like what so, the hell? Yeah, he made what? these like very, he made these like he was asked basically, um, you know, what he what he predicted was going to happen with Jimmy Garoppolo and everything uh, like that. And uh, Kyle Shanahan said, what was his exact quote? I think it was, ba oh, I don't know what exact quote was basically like, well, I don't even know after this weekend, like if everyone will be alive, <laughs> like, like what anybody will be doing. It's this very strange answer to like, for a <laughs> but now what's kind of interesting too to go back to it is they weren't telling the coaches what they were going to do um so 
I wonder why. Yeah, right. I don't know. Maybe because of the relationship with Jimmy Garoppolo. He said, I can't guarantee that anybody in the world will be alive Sunday. So I can't guarantee who will be on our roster on Sunday. That's that was his thing to say. <laughs> that sounds like a guy who's been asked who you're going to pick for like the past three months, and he's just getting sick of it and just decided to throw a weird answer in there. That's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Erica says it was a very non committed way to say Jimmy is gone. Maybe. <laughs> um, I will say, though, if I'm a Bengals fan, if they do not draw, uh, draft an offensive lineman, or actually, no, with their first two picks. They don't draft offensive linemen. I would quit being a fan for that team. Like you, if you cannot protect Joe Burrow, you have no chance of doing anything. And you'll so they would go. They the would go time. from like ten fans to nine fans, basically, is what you were saying. Whoa! <laughs> they, have 11, they have eleven fans right now. That's true. Whoa. But I mean, seriously, look at they haven't had a playoff win since nineteen ninety. Like yeah. they literally. Figure out ways to fail more, more miserably every year. <laughs> yeah. Yep, pretty much. And the fact that they were giving uh, Joe Burrow so much playing time after they know that he, you know, they weren't going to be in the playoffs or like going to be that competitive a team, and then he gets injured. I don't know, like a little, a little weird for them to be playing him that much or a little reckless, I guess. Who hmm. knows about the Bengals? <laughs> I mean, just go draft or just go sign Pac-Man Jones again or something. <laughs> Remember that guy? Yeah. Pac-Man Jones. Uh, yeah. It helped him cost them a playoff win in 2015. <laughs> Who's oh, the yeah. other guy? Who's the other guy that's like that was like banned from the league? Um, oh, Vontez Perfect. Yeah, Vontez Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I got yeah, him all like. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence yeah. gets traded to the Bengals. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I knew <laughs> it. He was quit. Wait, did that actually happen? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. It would be, be funny, though. That would be amazing. Can you imagine? The, Twitter would have a field day with... Oh. <laughs> be rioting. Rioting. Yeah. I would quit being a Jaguars fan, too, actually, at that point. <laughs> yeah, well, they only have about 20 fans. <laughs> <laughs> Not much more. Yeah, the last time they had any fans was in 20, 2018. <laughs> or any real fans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That's full blooded. <laughs> By the well, way, is, know, is, right. is, I don't even know if Joe Burrow is going to be like really healthy for this year. Did you see that picture like that he had with the new uniforms with this big old scar on his knee? Did you see that? No, I didn't. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> but, yeah, wasn't but, there a caption that went along with it? Something gross and terrible, I think. I gotta look up this picture now. <laughs> yeah, no, it was actually pretty funny. I just can't remember what it said. Man, that was a big scar. Mm. It surprised me that it's that big because it's like 2021. Can't you like Get yeah, in there like, somehow. To have like endoscopic well, didn't he have surgery nerve or damage as well? I don't know. Did Possibly. Because it? It, it looked like one of those, like, well, it wasn't the same as Prescott's injury, but um, almost like a Teddy Bridgewater type injury. Bengals pick is in. Oh, boy. If they mess this up. <laughs> They gotta get offensive line. They gotta get offensive line. Yeah, yeah. It's just you know, Joe Burrow should sit out a, a end the year until they get an offensive line. <laughs> yeah, if they do anything besides, I mean, I guess they could get a wide receiver, but I don't. I just think you gotta address the offensive line. Yeah, because who knows? He might not be able to run as good as he used to. Now, yeah, if right. they're going to get an cut. offensive lineman, who would they get it from? Um, I'm curious of your your thoughts on that. Um, this guy from Oregon. Um, I don't know how you pronounce his name. P 
Pinay Sewell, I guess. Uh, he's a big guy. He's like could play like any position on the line. I think that guy. Yeah. Soup's talented. Soup's talented. I guess technically he's an offensive tackle, but um, that's pretty much any position I would think. Come on. They really I mean, want to hype this up. <laughs> yeah, we just, just come on. Let's just go. <laughs> uh, like, they only do the first round tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Only first round tonight. 32 times in 10 games, Burrow was sack. Wow. It was almost as much as uh, Wentz was a sack last year. <laughs> oh, terrible. <that's> much. <laughs> Not as much, though. <laughs> Panay Sewell. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Sewell. Sewell. Oh. We better do something. Well, we're about to find out, I think. <laughs> Mel Kuyper, hilarious. Mac Whoa. Jones. <laughs> if they draft another quarterback, Mac Jones should sit out of here. <laughs> and they'll see, then they're like, they'll be in the, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Awesome. Oh, man. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> Good oh, for you, sir. Hey, he's living his best life. He can't. Hold that against him. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. They'd replace AJ Green. Damn it. Well, the Eagles wouldn't be able to get him anyway. Okay, now I have to look him up. <laughs> Was it Jamar Chase? Yeah, the LSU yeah. guy. Wow. So I was saying they are going to go wide receiver or they were going to go offensive line. I guess they decided to get more th uh, more weapons for Burrow to throw to instead. I guess they're like, yo, yo Joe, fuck your knees, son. I guess they like the, <laughs> LS I guess they like the LSU uh, connection. I guess. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah, he oh, had yeah. 80 or 107 receptions, 2,093 yards, and 23 touchdowns in two seasons at LSU. Did he play? He did he play with with Burrow? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. That's kind of cool. It, I, there was some uh, s scenario where they'd basically be able to make like all LSU players like just on the Bengals, basically. Because I think they also have, uh, what's that guy, Thaddeus Moss? Oh, um, yeah. He's from LSU. I think they, um, let's he's, see. He's on the draft board, right? I, I remember hearing that name, uh, I think, during the... Um, no, he, he actually uh, uh, is, he's on the Bengals. I oh. think he, he... he I think they picked him up in the off season. Oh, he went undrafted last year, uh, and then oh. I think they picked him up. Okay, so it must have been last year's um, what's it called? College football championship game that he had. He had a big game, I think, in that game. He played for he played for the um, Washington football team last year in twenty twenty. Okay, I'm going to have to look him up, too. And then I think he got um, – so they already have that. And then the other guy from LSU, I forget who he is. Oh, Miami's already picked in. Wow. Wow. Really? That They're was ready. quick. Clearly, now, who they, they, they're playing. <laughs> they, they must get the – I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe they go with the offensive line now, I guess. What do they got? They got Tua down there. Will they pick another quarterback? The quarterback. Ugh. They could they could pick um Well Fitz Fitzpatrick's where he's in Washington now, isn't he? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, think they will need another perfect. receiver for. Um, could pick Devontae yeah. Smith. They yeah. could pick Devontae Smith. Oh, they're uh, showing clips of. Uh, Chase, dude. Chase. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. He can get off the ball pretty quickly. Ooh, that Ooh, Daisy Brown. Ooh, we nasty. That's against Josh Norman, too. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, he's quick, too. Big, quick, make contested catches. Kind of wish he was on the Patriots. <laughs> Y'all got Nikhil Harry. You don't need anybody else, right? No, right. he's getting traded. <laughs> That's your guy, man. That was your guy two years ago, though. I mean, it was. <laughs> it was. Thought he would be good. They should have gotten Metcalf. Harry. I will say, Oh, my say God. Though, Everybody should have gotten Metcalf. I will say, though, maybe we'll get uh, A.J. Brown in a couple of years. Yeah. Or, A.J. Brown? Know. What? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a wild prediction. <laughs> 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 I'm looking for any receivers at this point to add to our uh, – We got good talent. No, I know. You just know. to add more. <laughs> I'd be so pissed if I went to one of these teams, man. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Uh, I really think you have to have the, like, mindset that I'm going to change the whole team. Like, you know, that, like, this team is now going to become good because of me. Yeah, screw that. I'd be, like, <laughs> like right before, um, like, two weeks before the draft, I would, like, release, like, a, a tape of, like, a tape. I like a video, a video of me like uh, I don't know punching a baby or something just so my draft stock could drop. <laughs> so yeah. I would get picked by some trash team. That's what I would do. That seems like good career advice from yeah. Josh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not necessarily. Punch, punch a baby, punch a baby before you get drafted, <laughs> so that your stock will lower. Just, uh, just an example to punch yeah, a baby. Just, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Kick a dog. I don't know something. Just kidding. Oh. By the way, the Patriots have the 15th overall pick. <clears throat> yeah. Let's hope they trade up. Hoping to get that Denver spot at seven. Yeah, because Miami won't trade. If they if they camp. trade up, if they trade up, they can literally get um Mac Jones unless he goes now, which would be kind of crazy for him to go now. No way. Well I bet I bet that I bet uh, what's his name? The um the dude who won the Heisman was there. To the Dolphins or to yeah, yeah. The Dolphins yeah. What's that yeah, guy's Dev name? Devontae Smith. Smith. Yeah, yep. that guy. I bet that's who they. I bet that's who they take. Well, I mean, they could use a wide receiver to help uh, Devontae Parker um, and Gasaki, the tight end down in Miami. I think he's still there. Look that up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Gisaki. Let's see. I mean, why not Goodell come, does, like, come up out of the ground? <laughs> I, like, from under, you know what I mean? Like, oh, here we go. Wow. Who? Interesting. Oh, all right. Jalen Waddle. Interesting. He just walked away. He's just like, what? <laughs> I got drafted this early? Oh, so they picked the other receiver from Alabama, the guy that got injured originally, um, that was suspected to be maybe better than Devontae Smith, or was really at the time. And then Devontae Smith takes over for him, ends up winning the Heisman. Okay, so now the question is, will um, – uh, Sorry, it was Devontae Smith, right? The other receiver? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, will he go to Detroit or Carolina? That's my question. I hope he doesn't go to Detroit. <laughs> who, who they got there now? Jared Goff? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Detroit. I mean, I mean it's Carolina Detroit. could use a receiver. Sure. So. <laughs> well, the interesting thing is you know who might make out in this situation is the Browns. I mean, the Bears, sorry. They've been looking for a QB. They've been trying for a couple of years now to get a better QB. 
and now they have the pick after, um, or I guess I'm they have a twenty. See. They have a twentieth pick. They, but they, uh, they have an eighth pick. I thought. I thought they had the eighth pick. No, nah, it's Carolina. Carolina. So. Oh, Carolina. So they traded. Yeah. So the picks, the next picks are Detroit, Carolina, Denver, um, Dallas, who needs defense, the Giants, and then the Eagles. Yeah. And that's up until twelve. So, yeah. Uh, who knows? Golly. <laughs> oh, man. Pick is in for the Lions. Well, they need help everywhere. They do need <laughs> help everywhere. Yeah. The question is, what spot would you use first for that, though? I mean, I don't know what – I mean, always offensive line, right? Always. Yeah. Like, especially – Stafford was hurt a couple of years, last couple of years, too, when he was yeah. there. I hope he does well this year. I don't know. They might just go wide receiver here. Who, Detroit? Yeah. Who go – what's his name? Good Devontae Smith. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm I mean, so they, just, they wasted Megatron's career. <laughs> and especially the division they're in, too. With who knows what's happening with Green Bay. You know, there's now a spot open at the top, potentially. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go that far yet, but there's the potential for that. And I'm not saying Detroit will have any chance of doing that, but, you know, who's, who knows? Crazier things have happened. Yeah. What's that background noise? Josh's fan. Is it my <laughs> fan? <laughs> it's so hot up. It's so hot down here. I don't know what it is. Is it hot in New England, guys? No, it was like raining today. It's hot. It's, it's so muggy and disgusting here. Oh, my God. Really? Well, you're down south. Yeah, we're way down, <laughs> yeah, way down south. <laughs> Lancaster. Yeah, 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 all the way down here, right near Maryland. Whoa. Oh boy. We'll see. That's a cool suit. Mm. That's fun. That's oh, oh, lost Josh. So who do you think here? I think that they have to or either eh, I'm gonna say offensive line. Oh. Oh no, that's the that's Waddle. Never mind. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I was like, did they pick him already? But Lost yeah, I think they have to they have to get a receiver, I think, first. Offensive line definitely after. Um, but I just think they have too many holes on that team to really compete in that division. So they're gonna need to they would need to have to pull a lot of other trades or um, Yeah. Yeah. But then again, Minnesota's hit or miss every year, so in Chicago. Oh, the Lions. <laughs> How can, like, anyone take the Lions, like, in the NFL? Like, oh, I play for the – I work for the Lions. Like, really? All right. Well, I will say Dan Campbell did have um, a bit of a turnaround with Miami a couple of years ago when he was their interim coach for a while. But – there's a difference when you have to be the full-time coach. The thing is, they might go offensive line because they got DeAndre Swift. And that if they focus on running the ball with a little bit of, you know, passing, then maybe you go offensive line. I don't know. Yeah. DeAndre Swift's a good talent. Uh, you know, I can't really waste it, really. Hypers looks good, huh? Trim down that. He got a haircut. His hair is a helmet's a little, a little, uh, a little less protrude, protruding. I think it's going to be a little big in your face. No. Yeah. Who they heard the buzz of the phone? Who want? Who, who they picked? Oh, it was the Bruins scored. Oh my God, the Bruins! <laughs> <laughs> I know you're, you're a big fan. Go Bruins! 
<laughs> Who are these these fans? It was hilarious. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Offensive oh, they, line. They got that guy. All right. The Seawell guy. Now the question is, can anybody – can they get another other talent that can make impacts? Who's the guy in the, in the recliner? Has he got two broken legs or something? Or is he – I hope he's not – like. I think he's in a wheelchair. No. I think – no, no, never mind. That was his couch. That looks like uh, – like he's like in an oxygen treatment or something. I don't know. Six six three thirty. Good lord. Yeah, I was I was mistaking the couch for a wheelchair. Oops. I <laughs> think <laughs> 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 I need to get my vision back. <laughs> Man, we're getting those uniforms. Jesus. That guy's good, man. Number fifty eight. Whoa. How'd you get hit with by somebody like that? That'd be terrible. He's really bad. Well, he can clearly run block. <laughs> yeah, man, he uh, he's quick. He's a beast. He's a big guy. Jeez, he's a good lead blocker too. <laughs> Just blew that guy off the line. Just pushing dudes over. My goodness. So Panthers on the clock. Uh, any yeah. predictions of what they need? <laughs> they need. Uh, they got Darnold, so it'd be kind of weird for them to take a quarterback, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, they need, like, I don't know if they have a receiver. Was there a, were there receivers? Definitely a receiver. Maybe they get Devontae Smith now. Yeah, may, yeah maybe he goes there. <laughs> Look at the Lions draft room. Like, yeah, we're going to fuck like, up oh, our career. Oh, yeah, oh, we're going to waste okay. his career. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna compete with Aaron Rodgers," said nobody ever. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, Devontae Smith would be a huge weapon for Sam Darnold, and obviously, if you match that up with McCaffrey, it's a big, you know, it's a they're, big... gonna need, they're gonna need a couple of receivers. Yeah, sure, but uh, McCaffrey can hold a lot of the load there. Yeah. Um, is what's his name? Uh, uh, Robbie Anderson still there? No, he went to the Jets, didn't he? Oh no, he was from the Jets. Yeah, yeah. he went to the. Uh, yeah, he went Panthers. to the Panthers. Yeah. yeah, so he he must still be there. Micah and, Parsons, that's it. That's the guy from Penn State. That's who I was talking about. Oh yeah. Not that anyone gives a shit. He's actually he actually was projected to go around here, around this pick. Um, well, Michael Parsons maybe comes in there, fills that middle linebacker spot. So go who's ahead. next? Wit? Who who's the next pick? The next pick is oh Denver. Okay, Denver. Yeah, and then Dallas. So what happened to the Bears? What, what did they just they get rid of their traded, pick? They must have traded somebody. They're to get us together. I know, but they had pick eight at one time. Are they really? Let's see. Who knows? I mean, I guess they don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I guess somebody knows. <laughs> I wish. I wish we could. There's a way to fi figure out. Oh, they got Andy Dalton. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. What? That must be what they traded away. Wait, a first round pick for Andy Dalton? No fucking way. Are you serious? Well, they got Andy Dalton. I mean, who else did they get? I don't know. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. Andy Dalton. I forgot about that. I mean, he was decent for a while. Just the talent around him wasn't that great the last few years. <laughs> it doesn't help uh, when... Uh, you have what uh, Marvin Lewis as your uh, continuing to be their coach for a while when he should have been uh, let go a while ago. Yeah. Let's see. Should 
just reading up and seeing. Wait, so this is uh, what I'm reading here is that they have pick nine from Denver. Oh. So that maybe this is a situation where, like, he gets up there and he says that the Denver Broncos have traded their pick to the Chicago Bears. Maybe, huh. yeah. No, they have the 20th pick. Okay. Uh, from what it looks like on there, they have the 20th pick. Unless, unless we're missing something, which is probably true. And maybe this was just like what they could have done. I don't know. I was going to say, I don't think there was any way they were going to trade Andy Dalton for a first round pick. No. <laughs> maybe a few years ago they might have, but not not this year. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, what's my name? Oh, no, no. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh. Y'all ever been to Cleveland ever? Nope. Uh, some of my family's from Cleveland, though. Mm. My dad was uh, born there. All right. I broke into Jacob's Seal. It was pretty fun when I went there. <laughs> oh, yeah? It was amazing. Did you ever go to, uh, like, what is it, like Cedar Point there, I think it's called? No, it was no. What's that? Like a the um, like a theme, um, theme park. Theme park, yeah. No, we were there for. Uh, Here we go. All right. Wow. Who's that guy? Oh. Some I mean, defense. I, I was gonna say they need some help on defense too. So, but wow, okay, interesting. That's awesome. Good for you guys. All right. I think Sam Darnold's not that happy at the moment. He's a guy in that T-shirt. Get out of the shot, man. Yeah, Denver. Denver is the next pick. Denver. Okay. Is is Horn like the number like one of the top? Uh, like picks that people talked about? Because I'm not that familiar with him. Um, I don't know if he was like, I mean, he's one of the top. He was actually projected to go to the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, but oh, he's a, wow. uh, according to this, a physical corner. He solidified his spot in the top dozen picks with an outstanding display of athleticism at his pro day with a 440, 40 dash. Uh, 41 and a half inch vertical leap. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the highlights too, he is, he kind of reminds me of um, physicality wise. Not, I'm not going to say talent wise yet because I haven't seen him play at the NFL level, but uh, almost like a Jalen Ramsey type um, or even Gilmore too. Mm -hmm. Just the physicality and um, ability to lock down somebody. But we'll see how that translates to the NFL level. I feel, like, yeah. I feel like isn't defense easier to transition to, or is it harder from college? Is it offensive players or is it defensive players that is more difficult? Well, so which has the steeper learning curve? Hmm. I don't know. It's a good question. I guess it depends. I guess it more depends on positions. Um, you know, for example, like some positions, like an offensive line guy, if they're big enough and and like have the talent level, uh, they might. You know, it might be a very easy transition into the uh, NFL because that just their overall size. But a guy that's like smaller that might have been very good in college in a wide receiver position yeah. might never translate to the NFL because of his size or something like that. Um, right, right. According right. to Scheffner, one NFL head coach called the Lions' first round pick, uh, Penne Sewell, the one surefire Hall of Famer in this draft class. Oh my. Ugh, wow, that was kind of interesting. Well, like what about Zach Williams, though? <laughs> yeah, or Wilson. Wilson. Well, there's no way the Lions were going to get him, unless they traded away picks. So. Yep. Let's see. 
would you guys ever be in favor of a um, a pick rewarded to the Super Bowl champion? Like an extra pick? No, just like a higher pick. Because the draft really, um, you know, benefits teams that played poorly. And it incent- but, incentivizes losing. Yeah. Yeah, but a or tanking really. Uh, yeah. w- would you, you know, is there some <laughs> some scenario where like giving a high pick, maybe top five or something like that, to a team that won the Super Bowl is interesting? I don't know. It's kind of an idea. I mean, yeah, if you want to keep. Um, you know, especially you, you don't really see a team win multiple Super Bowls, um, you know, very often yeah. uh, in the same, you know, like 10 year time span and, or like even five year time span. Um, and so it'd be interesting to see like them draft a higher pick and like develop that with a good, Solid coaching staff. So I think there's some potential interest there. Yeah. Or you give it to the team that lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> like you made it far enough, but you lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, I think it would be better for the winner. Yeah, for the winner. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I mean, there's a reason you lost. You know, don't reward losing. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Watch them do that in the next five years. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I just think there should be some other, you know, reward or something like draft wise, rather than just like, okay, your team did terribly, so here's a good pick for you. I don't know. I just always kind of had a issue with that whole mentality. Yeah. I get it's to like make teams better or whatever, but um, yeah. Ugh. Micah Parsons, come on. I think Fields is going to fall like second round. No, Patriots will definitely get him if he's available. Mac Jones. Well he's he's going day two. He's not but gonna... but I think Denver, you know, unless there's some weird situation with their pick that I haven't understood yet, um, I think they gotta pick a QB right now. Yeah. Wow, so the question yeah. is is it Justin Fields or uh Mac Jones. Mac Jones. I mean I think Mac Jones is a huge uh, advantage for them. At the, going that late in the draft, which, you know, we'll see. Mm. I mean, if the Patriots somehow end up, like, getting a quarterback out of this situation, it would be kind of crazy. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it, it, like for the level of, like, all those picks, you know, uh to, to draft that, uh, to not draft up and still wind up with a quarterback <laughs> is pretty nuts. The end, yeah, the Bill Belichick is uh, smiling somewhere. <laughs> yeah, just like, oh man, I can't believe that, that this hasn't happened yet. But yeah, pick is in for the Broncos. All right. Hmm. Who's it going to be? Yeah, we need some like background music. <laughs> <laughs> Uncopyrighted background music. <laughs> do 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 hey, Same thing. Yeah. Just change a note or two. It's all good. <laughs> Sounds about so, right. Yeah. Oh, here I got one. Dan at it. Dan at it. That's wrong, too. Yep. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, let's get to the E's. I don't, come on. Yeah, we're... We're almost there. Almost there. Close. Damn, it goes Cowboys, Giants, E's. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Damn it. 
Ooh, okay. What? Oh, what? that guy's. Uh, Who's that is guy? Pretty good. <laughs> And then Living that in the guy. 90s. <laughs> I'm going to predict Mac Jones going here. No way. Wow. Okay, so they're trying to upgrade their secondary. Okay. That's actually not a bad. That's not a bad pick. You know, with Justin Simmons and um, I'm trying to think who else is in that secondary. Um, let me just sign someone that's off season two. Boye, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. All right, Cowboys. <laughs> How do they not mess up their draft and, um, or this draft pick? This what question is that I'm to. <laughs> what is that suit made out of for this guy? Look at his pants, yo. <laughs> Jeez. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Pants. How many? What is that? Is that two or three now? Alabama guys going in the first. Uh, two. That's two so far. Okay. They're trying to um, not let Belichick get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! God. Because of the Nick Saban connection. <laughs> I'll check. Yeah. Well, know. they gotta get Devontae Smith now. Who the Eags? Yeah, no. No, the Cowboys. No way. They just got what's his name? They need. They need somebody else. Besides they have. They have Cooper and C.D. Lamb. Yeah, yeah, they need a tight end, or maybe no, definitely a tight end. Who um, they got? What's his name? I don't know. I or at be. least a back. At least I'm telling back. you that the Cowboys are so egotistical that they're yeah. going to pick a wide receiver right now. Watch them draft a quarterback. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean they could, but pick they need field. they need to have some sort of because you just don't know what's Dak. Um, obviously, if Dak's healthy. He's your quarterback. Period. But um, with that type of severe injury, you need some sort of backup plan. And Ben DiNucci is not going to do it for you. The nooch, freaking the nooch. I mean, considering he almost beat the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, keyword almost. All right. Against against the Broncos, uh, drafted him because Kyle Fuller and Bryce Callahan are, both have contracts that expire after the twenty twenty one season. Hmm. For Denver. Kyle Fuller's on the on the. Broncos? Apparently. Oh yeah, yep. Oh. I forgot. That's who I was thinking of. Not a uh, Boye. Wait, oh. can you, Josh, can you check and see if Boye, uh, AJ Boye, is on that team as well? If you're looking. Sorry, AJ the... Boye on on the Bears. Yeah. Oh, is he on the Bears? I thought he was on. Oh, never the mind. Broncos, you mean? Yeah. I could be thinking of somebody else, so I apologize, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't see that, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm spelling his last name right. B o y e. Either way, Denver's defense is being built for the future, or at least see. starting to. Mahomes will still have something to say about that, but. <laughs> Oh, Dallas is likely to trade out of number 10 spot. Oh, we'll take yes. it. We'll take it. <laughs> yep, Patriots will definitely take that. <laughs> In a heartbeat, too. <laughs> the Eagles have traded for the 32nd pick. And the what? I'm, ju I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Why? But the last thing is true, that they're likely to trade out of the spot. Oh, oh that would be so funny if they actually did that. <laughs> Josh, you'd lose your mind. <laughs> oh, uh, trade alert. There it is. Cowboys trade pick. To the Eagle. Whoa. Oh. That is unexpected. I didn't actually think that was going to happen. Who they, they trade like to? Other, to the the Eagles. Eagles on the clock right now. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, this is your big moment, Josh. Cool, Josh Let's go, Justin Fields. <laughs> Come on, 
You messed this up. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shit on my living room carpet, and you're gonna watch <laughs> if they pick a quarterback. I'm gonna be so pissed. Do something right. I mean, <laughs> offensive line. Yeah, offensive well, line. Yeah, I'll take or, that. or Micah Parsons. Get that There's linebacker. <laughs> so they traded their one and third round pick to Dallas. What? They traded up three spots to get this spot, basically, and then they traded a third round pick. And nobody's in Dallas's room except for one lady who's laughing. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not terrible. I mean, like they traded a third round pick, but that's not the worst move, depending on what happens right now. I mean, I guess they don't want to take. They don't want. They they're fairly certain Dak is coming back, so they're not worried about losing a quarterback. Potentially, or even two. Um, no, one, because I don't think the Giants will will pick a quarterback. It's just kind of surprising doing a deal like with the Eagles, right? Yeah, yeah. they don't like each other. <laughs> yeah, they're not friends. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but they got more picks. I mean, they're trying to stockpile picks, I guess. You know, the Cowboys and the Eagles have like so many picks anyway. They're like, whatever. I don't know. I guess it depends on who they get. Um, how if they pick. They're going to get Devontae Smith right now. I hope so. They need somebody to throw to. They need some offensive line, too. They need that, too. <laughs> but I don't know if he's... Don't know There's if he's nobody bad. else, like, high enough, though. Well, th this guy, Rashawn Slater from Northwestern, I guess. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like those guys, you can kind of... They're easier to find, like... Free agency and all that, you know, like skill positions like that, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little more difficult, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it's always, you know, the, the highest paid players on the team end up being like the quarterbacks and the offensive line guys eventually, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, because they're hard to find, like, these six foot eight, seven foot <laughs> tall guys. Like, yeah, really. Monsters. So, I don't know. Parsons. I think that they they got to get um, Smith right here. Devontae Smith's going to go to the Eagles, which is a good pick. Yeah, and definitely definitely wor worth trading up a couple picks for. Yeah, I guess they they think there's like they thought he'd be gone at six when he you know, and then they're like yeah. oh, he's still there. I mean, it's only four four of the spots, but. So they're gonna have this pick, and then they're gonna have another pick in in in. Oh no! All oh, they traded. The other. Yeah, they traded oh. their uh, other pick. It's so stupid. <laughs> well, it depends. You know, I guess it, it depends on what they're doing. The pick is in. Oh shit! You nervous, Josh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm real nervous. This could change the framework. Yeah. Being in the gutter or being a, <laughs> a six key is the only thing in this pick. Well, it's a big decision six, for the new coach, too. Six so they, straight championships. <laughs> started with a six pick, traded down to the 12th, and traded up to the 10th. They've done a lot. They've done a lot without doing anything. You got that right. That's the best <laughs> way of doing something. <laughs> They've Less. moved around quite a bit without actually doing anything yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's clean up. It's a little easy to clean up. Nothing to clean up. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Eags. Come on, Eags. <laughs> All right, enough hype of this. Let's get it. Let's nice. actually tell. You know what makes me like fur furious though is like so they they made the Cowboys can make a deal with the Eagles, but the Patriots couldn't make a deal with the with the Cowboys. Like they couldn't yeah. get anything done. Like obviously they were willing to trade this pick. Like <laughs> just seems kind of crazy. Ooh, but, look at her! What an eagle she is! Nice shoes. <laughs> What an egg. 
Yeah. <laughs> Number 18. Who's that? Is that a Macklin jersey? Probably. <laughs> or old uh, Josh McCown. Or Rager. Oh, Rager. That's it. That's it. All right, here we go. There you go. Okay. All right. Not not a bad pick. Not a big surprise there, I guess. Not a big surprise there. Man, he is skinny. How is he going to play in the NFL, yo? <laughs> <laughs> I hope Jalen Brown, uh, Jalen Hurts doesn't send him over the middle. Don't do it. I mean, it's it's uh, kind of what you expected if they were going to trade up. Yeah, I guess so. Poor Mac Brown or Mac Jones. He's not. Well, I'll make say it. this for the uh, for the Giants now. They need offensive line. I know. I I feel like I have a broken record over here, but um, their defense is good. Their offense is what needs it needs help. My sister said, "No, what? No one wants to help the Patriots, even if it's helping your enemy. That's because the Patriots are." Everybody in the NFL's enemy. <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants to help Patriots. <laughs> and speaking of bad draft picks, there's a lot of other teams that are that have had worse draft picks than us. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just I can't forgive not picking Metcalf. Yeah. I just think, like, if you see that kind of, like, gym rat guy who's just, like, that into working out and everything like that, and just, like, overall his size and everything, I just don't get how you can't see that that guy's going to be. Chicago is trading up from the 20th to the Giants at their Holy number 11. Holy shit. They're going to get Justin Fields. Wait, yep. who traded up? The Bears. Chicago. Okay. Were the Giants who said? Chicago is trading up from number 20 to the Giants' turn at number 11, QB time, says Adam Scheffner. Yep. Andy Dalton, uh, <laughs> you have some competition <laughs> coming. Could it, be, could it be Jones? It could be Fields? It's got to be Jones. All right. Well, I mean, we said there were, dra- uh, were going to be trades at some point, so here we go. Yep. Again, Patriots aren't able to do this. <laughs> yep. But you might be giving the Bears too much credit, too. Um, I don't know if they're going to potentially draft a quarterback. They're going to draft a quarterback. At this position, like, they pretty much have to. They need one, first of all. Yeah. And... There's no reason for them to trade up to this spot besides getting a quarterback right now. Devontae Smith, if Devontae Smith was still there, maybe they would. You know, like maybe that's worth it still somewhat, but I just can't imagine that. Hmm. All right. Well, while that is, let's see, happening. Oh, they updated on NFL.com. Okay, good. Okay, so the Giants return from Chicago for pick number 11 next year's one, five this year, four next year. Wow. Three picks? Interesting. Yeah. Jeez. Which for the Giants who just signed a new deal with Saquon, it's probably a pretty good deal for them. (laughs) They don't need a quarterback. Yeah, they need offensive line help and – Maybe another receiver. Yeah, no, they need not a receiver. Maybe, definitely another receiver. Yeah, they need receiving help. They need yeah. somebody for Daniel Jones to throw to besides just uh, trying to run halfway down the field and falling. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Mac Chicago Jones. make it see see Chicago fans should be really happy right now because they uh, uh with the Andy Dalton news, they were probably like very annoyed <laughs> at that. And now they're trading up and they're potentially going to get Mac Jones right now. Well, 
Justin Fields family's gone. <laughs> the couch is empty. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, there we go. They must have just been getting food. <laughs> I was going to say, does anybody have any uh, snacks or anything for, so <laughs> for watching this? <laughs> some popcorn? No. I should make some popcorn. I got one of those Jiffy Pops, one that you do on the on the uh -huh. stove, and it gets all, you know, like the big, I can make that. I should make that. Uh-oh. Looks like yeah. they got fields. Did they really? Well, interesting. looks like they might. Oh, my God. Well, well I, you I, know. I, I, all right. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get a mobile quarterback, so. Plus, I just really want Mac Jones on our, on our team. <laughs> 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 and uh, the Cowboys are not going to get him. So I'm trying to think who would be next. LA, LA is definitely not getting him. Uh, Minnesota? Eh. They paid too much money to Kirk Cousins to... You like that. You like that. You like that. <laughs> yeah. what do we like? I, I, I'm going to call it right now. If Mac Jones isn't picked in this, we're getting him. Yeah, because definitely getting him. The Chargers, the – who did I say? Um, the Cowboys – yeah, the Cowboys, the Chargers, and the Vikings are not going to pick him. So I'm calling it now. <laughs> Vikings could pick him. With quarterbacks at the issue in, over there. Well, I mean, he kind of is, but he kind of is. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not saying it'd be like the best pick, but yeah, they need help on, right. on defense, coaching. Mike Zimmer is still their head coach, right? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, just announce it when you hear it because um, I'm a little bit behind you guys. They're talking about COVID or Goodell is. Or they're talking about. <laughs> oh, I know why. Okay, I think I understand why they're doing it with this traffic. Come on. Please, God, tell us the answer. <laughs> Who's that guy? What's up, man? This is very suspenseful. Wow. Come on. Interesting. That's the first one that they've had somebody besides Goodell do it. There it is. Wow. Fields. There it fields. Interesting. So, well, Mac Jones to the Patriots. <laughs> Maybe, man. So this was kind of interesting too. Is that um, I believe Wait, the what? same the same guy for the Giants was the, with the Eli situation. Um, what do you mean, same guy? The GM? Yeah. Uh, Giants GM Dave Gentleman traded back for the first time in nine NFL drafts and Gettleman. Yeah, I think it's Gettleman. Oh, Gettleman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And got a haul from Chicago. Gettleman said he hadn't traded back in eight NFL drafts because he refuses to get fleeced. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently. Uh, uh. Bears take Justin Fields. Bears, Bears made out. Bears made out with this pick. I really think they did. All right. Well, let's hope. Let's hope for the Bears' sake and and his sake. Even though he went to Ohio State, Blech. I don't like Ohio State. They annoy me. 
Jeez, this guy has a good arm, too. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, he transferred, right? Come on. And State, what up with it? Oh, good back so, to So Justin Fields goes. So that that is probably the the pick that the Patriots wanted the most, I would think. But mm -hmm. Mac Jones, obviously with the Alabama connection, that's huge. I can't picture. I mean, Dallas could pick him right now, but I think that would send quite a message to Prescott that they probably don't want to do. Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, the Chargers, they're not going to pick him. And then Minnesota could pick him. That's the that's the one pick I'm worried about. Minnesota could pick him. They're probably going to draft defense. <laughs> Defensive mind yeah. coach. Yeah, they definitely. If, wonder if Dallas takes this offensive line guy, that Rashawn Slater. And, um, the Vikings were predicted originally to get him, the uh, Rashawn Slater. But who knows? Dallas could definitely use that. Yeah, maybe a backup tight end too later in the draft. But you know what? They also would I, actually. I would put um, there some defensive help for them over, um, not over the offensive line for Dallas. I mean. Um, but their defense was one of the worst in the league last year. So yeah. I would definitely get corners or pass rushers or something because they're going to need it. Well, uh, originally Dallas was projected to get this uh, Patrick Certain guy that Denver picked. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's the reason why they decided to trade down because to the Eagles because they knew they couldn't get him anymore. They didn't feel like they needed a uh, any wide receiver help, although I would think that they would have um, just added one anyway. But um, hey, you gotta give you gotta give credit to the Bears. You really do. Yeah, they knew no, that, I mean they knew what they 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 had this huge obstacle. They've been trying to fix it for years, just haven't been able to quite get it right. Um, this is someone they can build their future around. Potentially. Yeah. And especially with Khalil Mack and I mean they have they have a pretty good defense um on that side of the ball. You know, too. So, or a pretty tough defense. It's their offense has been holding holding them back for a few years. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, Cowboys pick is in. Four hundred and seventy-three points allowed. Wow. Kind of interesting that the Bears still have uh, Nick Foles as well, though. Maybe they'll trade him later. And he's or got they... nine million in guarantees for this season. Wait, you said the Bears still have him? Yep. Okay, so either Dalton or um, uh, yeah, Foles Nick... won't, won't be on the team next year. Yeah. Be smarter to get rid of foals, um, I guess. Yeah. Maybe they'll trade him later in the draft or something. I mean, maybe. Oh, look at this uh, costume <laughs> or get up. <laughs> Who's huh. that? I don't know, but I like the I like the outfit. Oh, stop reading shit. Who do we got? Who no, do we got? 
<laughs> no, I th- they have to include this too because they're yeah. all about trying to be more um, aware of what's going on around the world and trying to. Yeah, uh, they tried the whole. We're just football. It didn't work yeah. too well. <laughs> yeah. oh, here we go. The pick is in. Defense. <laughs> yeah. You're going to pick Parsons. If they pick a quarterback. Maybe, Lee. maybe um, who'd they pick? Not yet. They oh. it yet. <laughs> maybe Greg Newsom. What position does he play? He's center back. Cornerback, you mean? Yeah, cornerback, sorry. <laughs> Oh, they took Michael oh. Parsons. Nice. They did. Nice. Wow. Well, what's his name? Just uh, retired at Sean Lee guy. I yeah. Mean, so maybe that, I guess that makes sense. I mean, uh, uh, I still want to pick defensive line or cornerback, but what do I know? Well, Cowboys don't make any sense, you know. <laughs> Chargers are whatever. next. Maybe they should they should pick a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> they should. <laughs> Can you imagine if they actually do that? <laughs> oh my god! Draft up to get a kicker, <laughs> or trade up rather. <laughs> oh god! Who the kickers are <laughs> Be something. Uh, when's the last time a kicker was picked in the first round? Probably never. And was that as a major? I'm gonna go with I that use, right now. It. <laughs> so c- Cowboys like Michael like Parsons, yeah. who team was interested yeah. in taking at number ten and get Eagles third round pick. Uh, Adam Scheffner says so. They're basically saying like he was. They were already interested in him at, anyway at that position, and then the Eagles basically gave them a third round pick as well for uh, Smith. How's this for a little history? Sebastian Janikowski was the last kicker. Wow. 17th overall pick in 2000 by the Oakland Raiders. Or, sorry, Vegas Raiders. Yeah. He was, huh. a, what, the last first-round pick for a kicker? Seven, well, the, the one that immediately popped up. <laughs> that must have been a low-talent pool draft. Well, he's like well, – that guy was, like, super special, wasn't he? Oh, my God. Jumped into his arms. Oh man, Whitney, can you feel Mac Jones? I can feel him. Oh my God, that's I just feel I like it's up. coming. I feel like I feel like I gotta put my hat on. I gotta. Get, it's just happening, Alabama boys. It just makes sense. The stars are aligning. That's so crazy. Like Stephen Jones looks old as shit, and then you see Jerry. You're like, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He looks like a mummy. Like, oh, that's Jerry Jones. Oh, no, that's Jerry Jones. Oh, boy. Yeah. The Chargers. Let's see. What do the Chargers do, you think? Um, <laughs> maybe they go. Oh, maybe they get that dude from Northwestern because they got to protect their rookie of the year. Rashawn Slater. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, I'm trying to think because uh, they had a pretty good offense last year. Um, yeah, their defense was kind of all over the place. Yeah, I mean, they still like what was their record? They they were still like five and eleven, weren't they, or something, or whatever it was. Might have been less than that. Yeah, I mean they they were in games, but they still didn't, they couldn't they couldn't win games. Yeah, their kicker was a big part of the promo. <laughs> Let's just hope for some odd reason they don't go. Who the quarterback? The pick is in. Oh, it's in already? No, I just feel like saying it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm saying it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I shouldn't say that. Uh, Mac Jones, you think he'll go to the I – mean, I mean, I can see that, I guess. It he just – Vikings make me, make me nervous. It's the only team that makes me nervous. I don't see that the oh. – I don't see that the Chargers would, but no, nah, make the Minnesota is like too much money, like guaranteed to uh, what's his name, Cousins. Cousins. Cousins isn't bad. No, he's not bad. 
You know, he's um, not he's not worth take, spending a first round pick on him. Mac Jones is so pissed. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Am I gonna go to New England? And then hey, he would be pissed if he goes to New England. He would be. I think he's just he more would... pissed at his situation right now, falling as far as he has. When you think that you're gonna be like the second pick in the draft, and now all of a sudden you're fifteenth. Yeah. Well, could be Rogers. I will say this though: um, he would be potentially the future in New England. Um, oh yeah, he's the future. future. He's the future. No, he's not. What, what do you do against him? You know, this Alabama is a quarterback. This has played out that he uh, might go to the Patriots, and now you've already started to hate him. <laughs> just, be, <laughs> just because he might. <laughs> like you force, force all this all happening, like slowly but surely, he just starts to fall. Is, that, fall, is fall. it that transparent? I guess I'm not transparent, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, the Patriots can't not pick him if he's there. I mean, right? There's no way they, they can pick anybody else. It doesn't make any sense. But they've also done crazier things. Yeah. McKill Harry. Yeah, the, well, the one thing is that they just – they don't listen to, like, the popular opinion of what they should do. Like, right. they very much so – you know, can't, assigning, re-signing Cam Newton is a perfect example. Chargers pick is in. I will say this, though. Um, they do like people from Alabama and from Rutgers. The McCourty twins are a perfect example of that. Yep. Um, they do like Rutgers. Dante Hightower was from Alabama. Yep. So that's why I have confidence in that pick. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle's from Alabama, too, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Michelle and Harris. Uh, oh, no. Michelle no, was from, from Georgia. Uh, Georgia. Georgia. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, oh, but yeah. Harris, Harris is from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Telling yeah. you, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah, there's no way they don't pick him if he's there. But uh, Minnesota makes me nervous just because. Uh, uh, there's no way, dude. No. Well, and they, maybe what's, they pick, what, they probably the pick the offensive board? line. What's the what, what's the big board look like? I don't big have a computer board? in front of me. What's Mel, what's Mel Kuyper's big board look like? What's the best available? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I haven't even thought of looking there. Let me try Googling it. You said Mel Kuyper's big board? Mel Kuyper. Mel Kuyper. Kuyper. Mel Kuyper. 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 I mean, I think, right? Don't they have? No, I think they have that somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out where. Oh, shit. Are they, doing a, are they got a 30 for 30 on Tom Brady? <laughs> Oh, shnikes. They got something on him. And the last time he got? did a documentary like this, he lost the Super Bowl. So. <laughs> Man in the arena. Oh, God. Wow. What a special player. What a special guy. What a special team. <laughs> time, time to be alive. What a good time to be alive. Yeah. Uh, Even for Tampa, it's going to be a one and done. Years. Just imagine, like, the, the year that the Patriots did the worst in recent memory was last year during COVID. Like, it, pretty much a throwaway year, right? Mm-hmm. And then and now we're just going to be dominant again. Mac Jones is coming to the Patriots, and it's locked up. Yep. So, yeah, it's that Slater dude and that Tucker Jones. Although, something to I, – I just Two can't – offensive linemen, a quarterback. I can't picture Mac Jones and Cam Newton that style getting along that much, but maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. Well, I mean, they're two completely different styles. I can see that's funky. I can see the Patriots being like, oh, we could do something with that. Yeah. I was going to say that Mel Kuyper had Justin Fields going to the Patriots, so, yeah. you know, I, that's more why, I, you know, it's just another sign of uh, – Well, they had Justin Fields going to the Patriots because everybody thought that Mac Jones was going too, <laughs> you know. Turn your lights on, man. Scary in that house. <laughs> Backlighting <laughs> sucks, brother. Oh boy. Oh. Elijah Tucker. Vera Tucker. Tech is in. Here we go. All right. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Mac, Fingers Mac, crossed Mac, Mac, Mac Jones. Yeah. Kicker, kicker. <laughs> <laughs> 
anybody. And then they're, and then like, and then like after they announced it, like, oh, the the Vikings have traded for Mac Jones. And you know, <laughs> I hadn't even thought of this tight end. They lost Hunter Henry. Yeah, it's true. But I don't think I don't know. Like, who, I think they're more likely to get offensive line here, or probably Rashawn Slater actually. Yeah, didn't they lose an offensive lineman in the offseason in a trade or something? I'm trying to think who they lost. I don't know. Maybe they t- stabbed him with a some kind of medical device and popped right, his lung go. or something. Okay, here we go. Slater, I took the, the big oh, guy. You're right. All right. Oh. Oh, took the big guy. My Look prediction stands. Okay. <laughs> Man, he's big. He got baby face though. Look at him. Look at that guy. He's twelve years old. But he's By the way, what other quarterbacks are behind uh, Mac? Just out of curiosity. Um, if there are any. I don't know. Um, that is a weird looking suit. I don't like that collar situation. It's like the Oscars. What are you wearing, Rashawn? Yeah. 6'4", 304. It's also crazy. Like, I think a, a lot of these guys like didn't play this league, this last year. These league top picks. Yeah, this guy didn't, right? This uh, Randall play. guy? I mean, yeah, Rashawn. Yeah. Uh, I saw a couple of the guys that didn't play either. Well, yeah. the Vikings need an offensive lineman anyway, so. Well, that, that guard from uh, USC is supposed to be real good. Maybe uh, Tevin Jenkins from Oklahoma State. Quarterback? Yeah, maybe. No, he's an um, offensive tackle. Oh. I mean, maybe later in the draft, too, New England should consider adding offensive line depth. They were projected to get to look at Rashawn Slater, uh, so if they're if they're following that same path, then to, uh, Tevin Jenkins makes sense. Um, although they could also just get like a um, cornerback with Greg Newsom, or they could pick Mac Jones and completely ruin our lives. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. That could be. Is that hurt? Swearing that Herbert in the draft room. Oh, that's a that's a pick for him, huh? Some protection there. Well, you know what? You can never have enough protection. Just ask Joe Burrow. You know what's crazy is like they have so many LA teams. Why can't we get like another Boston team? I just think that you know, yeah. it seems like there should be another team up here in the Northeast. Yeah, yeah. In the Northeast somewhere. Eh. The Connecticut. Oh, Vikings could be trading out of 14. This just in. To oh, the boy. Patriots. To the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> for Mac Jones. I mean, well, it wouldn't well, work. Look, at that who are they going to trade? They trade to a team that needs a quarterback. Who needs yeah, a quarterback? I don't, I don't know if they would be straight. Oh, here we go. The Washington football team needs a quarterback. No, they don't. They got like 14 people, don't they? Who do they have? They got that Heineke guy. They got <laughs> yeah. They got um, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. <laughs> yeah, no, they need a quarterback. Which, oh, yeah, now, they Hanky, need a quarterback. Hanky, that's it, Hanky. That guy's a beast. He's gonna be the. He's the future of the squad. Nope. So, so they traded to the Jets. Oh my god, wow. the Jets definitely don't need a quarterback. So that's good. Oh, that is that's perfect for us. Wit. There you go. <laughs> That's perfect. What if they did draft Mac Jones? Up? Unless the Jets just want to completely screw us over. <laughs> yeah, they're like, fuck the, you know, fuck the Patriots, you know man. We'll just get him in a couple years anyways because they'll find a way to screw him over. So. No. No. <laughs> we, no. We, we need him now. <laughs> no, I'm saying if that happens, I'd, they're going to find a way to screw this up. It's the Jets. Come on. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird move for the Vikings. Yeah, no. really weird. I mean, I guess they want they wanted Rashawn. 
they, they didn't get him. So, I don't know. It's just kind of like, I don't know what they got. I'm trying to figure out what they got back for him, for the pick. I guess that'll come up in a second, or after this draft pick happens. Jets trade up for number 14. Screw over rival Patriots. <laughs> oh pick is God. in. I the mean, the Jets have other in. problems to deal with on offense that, honestly, they can have him if they want. Yeah. You need other, they need other uh, – they need receivers. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get uh, – In fact, I hope they receiver. actually take a receiver just so we can laugh at <laughs> I bet they take that guard guy, that Elijah – an Elijah dude from USC. That's what I think. Come on. I mean, it is a defensive-minded coach, so maybe they'll take a physical player to try to, like, establish their identity. Because regardless of who you have a quarterback, you need protection. Again, Astro Pearl. Yeah. Maybe Greg Newsom right now. Cornerback. Northwestern. Mm, maybe. They still need a quarterback, though. <laughs> Crap. The Vikings just had to screw us over. <laughs> Seriously. Sheesh. They don't need a quarterback. The Jets, the Jets don't need a quarterback? No. They just got, what's his name? No, they got Trey Lance. Didn't they? The no, Wilson. Yeah, they got Wilson. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, they got they got no, Wilson. Then no, never mind. Then then never mind. I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, they don't need a. That's why I was saying yeah. like they don't need one. It would just be funny if they like completely screwed <laughs> over the Patriots for just, no just to do it. Yeah, we'll just uh, ask them for a trade. <laughs> yeah, I hope they saw, they have Belichick's dog make the pick. Not make it, but cut to a screen of him. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> or have his son do the 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 be the one that. Yeah. <laughs> Something tells me they don't get along that great, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah, there's a lot of assumptions going on around the Patriots, and yet we still won a Super Bowl a year after all that. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shut him up real quick. <laughs> it's true. Only organization in the world to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just high when, class. I was going to say, when was the last time a team lost the Super Bowl a year before and then won it? Certainly not the Eagles. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> what team? Uh... I don't know, Josh. you got to be happy with uh, the Eagles' performance right now. Yeah, Getting I'm, Devontae I'm, Smith. I'm digging it. I mean, you know. Potential yeah. Hall of Famer right there. They basically – where were they? They, lo they went up three picks, and they lost the third-round pick. Right, but originally they were six, and then they dropped down, and then they went yep. – but, yeah, and then, they, and then they traded up two spots. Yeah, I mean, that, they got all the draft capital. They got to use it. I mean, that's good. Who did they get this offseason uh, free agency-wise? Uh, the the – um, the reason they're going to win the Super Bowl this year, Joe Flacco. That's <laughs> huge. It's huge. It's huge. Who else did they get? They got. Uh, I, don't know. I want to say that they got a wide receiver, but I don't know. Did <laughs> you say Joe Flacco? <laughs> well, the only thing I know is that they passed on Justin Jefferson. Yep. For her Rieger, right? <laughs> yep. And they passed up. On DK Metcalf for yeah. Justin Jefferson is, is really good. Yeah, yeah and they didn't really and they didn't have the cred the credentials to be able to get away with that. Oh. Jets pick is in. Yeah. Kicker, kick. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be awesome to take a kicker. It'd be so well, it, it, it makes sense they're either going to go wide receiver or offensive line. I think. Yeah, but, no, but, definitely do that. <laughs> but um, the only other option I could see is maybe they make their cornerback stronger and get. Uh... All right, here we go. Uh, please make Patriots fans happy and do not draft <laughs> Mac Jones. Or maybe, don't. I don't care. It'd be such a stupid <laughs> move. All right, here we go. 
Oh, Elijah. Yeah, they did take the, the, the guard. Well, guess what, Wit? We came out somehow in this situation. We are going to get back, Jones. This is crazy. Woo! <laughs> this is going to be sickening to everyone else in the world. Look but... at his face. <laughs> I think that's Mac Jones. Yeah, that's Mac Jones. They're talking to him right there. They're talking to him. The Patriot, that, mean, that face means Bill Belichick is on the line. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, uh. How did this work out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh, what's your reaction? <laughs> Adam Schefter goes, and so Mac Jones is on the clock at 15 for the Patriots. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Uh, the world <laughs> is. How did, happen? How did they let this happen? That is crazy. Thank you, NFL. Wow. I still think he's going to be trash. I don't think he's going to be trash. In that system, anybody can work if they actually put in the work. And do everything the <laughs> Patriot way. Yeah, and actually, well, that's the other thing. Be, I was going to say this earlier, too. Being a receiver in that system, you have to know every single route tree. I've heard Edelman say that, a bunch of other receivers. It's probably one of the most complicated offenses to learn. Yeah, but you're coming from Alabama, who also has a complicated offense and and a strict like organization in general. I mean, this is just nuts that this worked out this way. It really is. Yeah. Um, wow. Whew. Man, I was really worried about the Vikings. I just thought that, like you know, with Kirk Cousins, like there might be an opportunity that they just, man, the Vikings just came through and. I mean, if they don't nail this draft, well, you know what? Actually, I think Mike Zimmer's job is safe regardless. But Yeah, that face tells me Belichick called him. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I'm about to beat Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be MJ10. Watch Tom Brady send a tweet out. Yeah. <laughs> Today he said, um, Cam Newton, too. I'm telling you, he's going to say something in, on Twitter. Mac Jones was number 10. Oh, the pick is in. Here we go. Here Let's we go. go. Here we go. How do you make the NFL's life a living hell? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this worked out. Thank wow. you to the other 14 teams, <laughs> or 13 teams. Is that All right, Bobby? here we go. Who in the world is that? Is that Bob? Oh, that's not Bobby. Well, that was Bobby, Bobby K. This is the first time okay. I've been excited for the draft in a long time, and it just worked out. Who? Former Marine, all right, or a Marine working in healthcare. Okay, all right. I'm gonna jump the gun a little bit here, but I think we know what's coming. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Ah, so happy. I'm gonna get a, a Jones, uh, New Jersey, and well, don't you have your old Garoppolo jersey? Can't you just tape out the this, Garoppolo? This no, I don't have a Garoppolo. <laughs> Oh, here we Mac Jones is going to the Patriots. Jimmy Garoppolo is not. That's what Adam Schneffer just tweeted. <laughs> yes! Unbelievable. <laughs> call it, call it, call it. Finally. That's hilarious. Mac Jones. The NFL needs to be on notice right now. <laughs> Oh, they're they on don't notice. Don't they're on notice with. <laughs> on notice. Yeah, that they got a rookie quarterback who's not going to play. I'm sorry. You still, you still I'm got, sorry. You still the got rest of the Newton. team is going to be good enough to be competitive. Shoulder Newton. That's all I got to tell you. Uh, okay, Jones. <laughs> 
so so the interesting part here is the 49ers are going with Trey Lance and then Justin Fields also going before and yet we get Mac Jones. Pretty crazy. Good stuff, yo. It's, uh, it's another system, system quarterback. And this is where it's actually a compliment. <laughs> well, I hope he does well, but I don't think he's going to. I picked a pretty bad team. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from an Eagles fan. <laughs> hey, man, we're going to do great. Eagles are going to do great. <laughs> We have yeah, okay. we have Joe Flacco. Do you not understand? I don't really think you understand the gravity of that. When was the last time we you got was Joe good Flacco? <laughs> when, when was the uh, last like time nine, he was relevant? <laughs> damn near ten years ago, he was good. And I'd also, say. when was the last time your receiving core was relevant? <laughs> uh, well, they're all healthy now. It's all season <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now, yeah. So the next, till the first game, and then they. Probably somebody will get hurt. Training camp, somebody. I, I, it literally seems to happen every year where it's either training camp, you know, Deshaun Jackson got hurt. Like, I obviously hope that doesn't happen from, like, a humanity standpoint, but something – I don't know, just injury history with certain receivers. Um, it's just – it's – Dang. Good stuff. Good luck. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let's do two more picks, and then we'll be done with it for tonight. Let's see what the thank you the Cardinals yeah. and the Raiders do. Although this has been <laughs> a great night for the Patriots organization. The Mac, the Mac Jones uh, green room looked like. <laughs> <laughs> this looked like a big bushel of white privilege, didn't it? <laughs> uh, a bushel, a bushel of it. Josh. Oh man, man, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. The only other one that I really, I really did like Justin Fields, but um, you know, this is like. The next best thing, especially coming from Alabama, I mean, it just it just worked out perfectly. It really did. Now both our squads got some Alabama flavor tonight. How about that? Huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's talking. Now, will Mac Jones be the next Tom Brady, or will he be the next Drew Bledsoe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Where I mean, he Bledsoe was good for a while. Bledsoe was really good till he till he doesn't Tom Brady colors right. anymore. Yeah. He's still a decent stand-up guy, though. Wow, that's pretty cool. You see that? He wrote in 05, back when he was just a wee little lad in 05. Did I mention in 05 is when he wrote that, that he wants to be in the NFL? Damn it. Did he, I think he has, like, a Patriots jersey on in that photo. Uh, probably not. He drew a big page, Patriots P. Patriots P. On his chest. So MJ10, get your merch right yep. now. Get your merch, bitches. Wow, this really worked out. I don't. I just don't understand other know. teams. Like, why do they do this? <laughs> like, why do they just? I really thought they would just like try to screw us over. Something would happen, but no. Nope, somehow, probably ended up with the best option for them for the Patriots. Especially Belichick's connection with, um, say, just like having that, just call him up on the phone. Man, pick is in for the Cardinals. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to see, like, looking back, what team would have needed um, or badly needed a quarterback. Let's see. None of them really badly. I mean, the Vikings, like, really could have taken one. It's not um, out of the realm of possibility, but. Oh, here we go. Wide receiver, wide receiver. Uh, They're like, who? Uh, All right. Uh, hey, Collins, there you go. Hmm. Uh, Collins. Oh. I mean, they do have a pretty good linebacking group, but offensive line needed help. 
Uh, wide receiver, you can never have enough of. <sighs> Who was it? Oh, Zavin, Zavin Collins? Zavon yeah. Collins. Zavon. Zavin Collins, yeah. Z A V E N. Huh. Interesting. Another Alabama player that Ooh. we might see come up is uh, Najee Harris. Uh, right. Running back from Alabama might come up soon. Mm. But I doubt that the Raiders are going to pick him. Uh, I'm going to say that they pick, they go with this um, Tevin Jenkins. What about Miami or Washington? Oh, no, not Washington, Miami. Uh, I don't know. They could use uh, another running back. Yeah, that's true. I think they had like running back by committee last year. Not that they weren't. They got, they got back Jordan back. Howard, didn't they? Yeah, that didn't really work. Yeah. Oh, well. And they had um, they got uh, uh, Drake, didn't they? Um, no, that Arizona got. I mean, uh, Houston got them. Actually, speaking of that, Houston's not on the clock this round, right? I think they. I thought I saw something about them trading around a first round pick a couple of years ago. Let's see. Probably. Jacksonville has the twenty fifth pick, by the way. Who does? Jacksonville. Oh. New Orleans has the twenty eighth. Green Bay the twenty ninth. Buffalo the thirtieth. Baltimore thirty one. Tampa Bay thirty two. So yeah, I guess Houston doesn't have a first round pick this year. So oh. Mac Jones becomes the eleventh player Bill Belichick has drafted that played under Nick Saban in college. It's setting the record for the most players taken by a pro college coach combo in the common draft era. Damn. Wow. Uh, what, is that in a, uh, on like a specific site? Because I want to try to share that with somebody. It's just Adam Scheffner tweeted it. Okay. Thanks. I think with that, it's commercial break. I think I've got to sign off, guys. I'm dead. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we'll just end it here. Thanks so much for uh, taking yeah. uh, the time. I'm, I'm watching the draft with us. It was awesome. Patriots got Mac Jones. A big pickup <laughs> for the Eags, too. Uh, another Alabama guy, Smith, Devontae Smith, going to the Eags. Big pickup for them as well. So we got a Huge. little bit of competition uh, going on. Um, sure. Mac Jones obviously couldn't have been a better pick for the Patriots to get literally could not have been the, a better situation <laughs> for the Patriots. For <laughs> uh, uh, Josh Follow, Whitney Dowds, and Ryan Collins, thanks so much for watching. Join us next week on the Cool Fan Sports Hour, sponsored by Collins Sports Guards. Thanks so much.